Yo, what's up, my home? Oh, my, whoa, okay, yeah, what's up? I don't know what I was doing there, but okay, yeah. Uh, no, I'm pressing buttons. Yeah, welcome back, episode 4 to Galaxy. I'm gonna say that every time, because I, I don't know why. Yeah, so technically, um, we do have 7 stars, and we need one more to beat Bowser, but I'm going for 100%, so why not, like, like, kinda do it. Kinda, I'll get all the stars in this area. It's not that bad for this one. It's, you get, like, two more than you're supposed to. Like, you're supposed to beat the, uh, get eight, fight the boss, have nine from the boss, and then go into the next dome or whatever, which is a world. So, yeah, whatever, I'm... Yeah, so this is one of the many motion-controlled levels in this game. Motion-controlled gimmick levels. Yeah, this this was an early Wii game. It, it has a lot of motion controls in it. They aren't that bad. For me, at least. I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of people complain about this. And I feel like that's mostly because... Well, no. I feel like I don't complain about this because I've done this so many times. I'm good at it. Like, I mean, the ball ones, yeah, they, they're kind of, yeah, they're kind of, yeah. But I think the ball ones are kind of, like, stressful, like, like, they're, like they should be. How do I, s is there, like, a break in this game, in this? I swear there's a break. Okay, I guess there's no break. Um, uh, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Okay, yeah, so it's, um, I guess, I guess you might have been able to see what the controls were. It's, you hold the joy kind kind out, and you tilt left to go left, tilt right to go right, yeah. And this level, this one's not that bad. But, um, later down the line, um, there's basically three types of kind of motion gimmick levels like this. There's this, there's bubble blowing. Or you're in a bubble and you gotta blow to move or what not blow but like you gotta point at the screen to move and then a ball one and then there's there's all like the regular ones of those and then there's like the super hard versions of those that you have to like collect like three green stars or whatever to unlock which are decently hard well actually this one i think is probably honestly the easiest not yet but yeah this is the easy level it's pretty easy Though, with something you do have to watch out about that I have died to is the fact that, uh, well, I'll show you in a second. So, yeah, you, there's the goal. Pass through that to win. But you can die. I have, I, yeah. If you fall off after you go in there, you will lose and die. Also, it said the best time was 1 minute 30. I don't remember if you have to beat that to win. Like, maybe you do. I don't know. Yeah, so that part's not that bad. Itch. It's not horrible. Woo, we did it. Yo, we're so good. We're so good at Mario. Whoa, Mario Party 8. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, so now when we're supposed to fight Bowser, so I'll just do the other one. There's like one more level here. Yeah. Oh no, time to fight Bowser Jr. Oh no, hoo hoo. Ooh, whatever, yeah. Um, yeah, we're going 100%. We're going, uh, Slip Switch Galaxy. Okay. Yeah, so I know too much about this scene, like, straight up, like, like, way too much. Like, Like, so much that, like, I, I could easily, like, you know those sporical quizzes? I've done one where it's theme every galaxy in this game, and I easily beat it. The only things that I had trouble with were, like, um, the names of the Bowser levels. Because, like, I, I only know them as, like, oh, this is the Bowser level where you fight this boss or whatever. I, I don't remember. Now I do, like, because I took it. It's, uh, Bowser Jr.'s Robot Reactor, um, Bowser's Star Reactor, um, Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada, um, this is also, like, one of the shortest and easiest levels in the game. It's literally just that. Bowser Jr.'s Airship Armada. 
Please don't die after I said it's easy. Yeah. Um. Bowser's Dark Matter Plant. Bowser Jr.'s Lava Reactor? Maybe? Some, it's something like that. And then Bowser's Galaxy Reactor. They're all reactors. Wow. Also, that was quick. Yeah, I forgot that level was really short. So, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. There's another level that we're gonna do. Probably. Honestly, we might even be able to do the bow the Bowser Jr. level in this episode. Yeah, probably. So, yeah, there's a Hungry Luma out here. This one wants probably 200 star bits. And it'll create a new galaxy, and then it's a new level. Oh, four? I don't have enough. Okay, well, guess we're not doing that now. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll, we'll fight we'll fight Mega Leg. I think it's yeah, Bowser Jr. for Robot Reactor. Yeah. So this is the boss level, whatever. Yeah, boss level. Woo, time to fight, time to kill people, or whatever. <laughs> God, talking like this, like this much, like makes my mouth water. Like I need water. The water is pretty epic, though. So, yeah, woo, Mega Leg, woo, yeah. Okay, so this is the first major boss, I guess I could say, of the game. Mega Leg, woo. Okay, so, like, this boss I kind of have mixed feelings on. Like, okay, I think the idea of it is sick. So, basically, um... There's that giant robot, and you gotta climb up upon it, and, like, destroy it. But, since it's, like, you know, World 1 boss, it's kinda lame. Not lame, but really easy, and not really... Like, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter if it's easy, but it's, like, not complicated at all. Like, it's really simple. It's walk up... Like, it's, like, getting to it, like, basically you walk up, to, like, get to the top, and then you use some bullet bills to, like, hit that top part or whatever. It's mostly pretty easy to get to the top, like, watch this. I did- I failed this recently once, because I'm an idiot. Yeah. I guess- is that- you, like, I mean, I- it makes sense that it's the first boss, so, like, I don't mind it being that hard, or whatever. And you go here into this gear. I, I, I have recently fallen off from this gear section. And I feel bad because, yeah. No. Yeah, but the thing is, is because um, later, there's a later boss. Actually, whatever. I, I, it's not really spoilers, but whatever. Um, there's a, the World 5 boss is, you remember King Caliente uh, from a few episodes ago? Like, the, the, the from episode like 2 or whatever, the octopus guy. Yeah, so he comes back as like a major boss and I always found that weird like he's just a minor boss that honestly because it's the boss isn't good at Egg galaxy like three like the third mission and they get after you beat mission two most people um will go on to honey hive because that's unlocked most people won't see him so it's weird but I heard that there were plans to have mega like reappear which would have been sick and like so it would have been World 5, it would have been cooler. Also, I don't have enough Starbits to do the, the thing. Oh, whatever. I should have gotten some, whatever. Yeah, so, yeah, see, like, it's a cool thing climbing on this giant robot, but you saw, like, okay, I'm honestly way too familiar with this game, so it would definitely be different for someone who was like, this is their first video game ever, and, like, young kids who this game is aimed towards, but still, like, I mean... Just need a little more. And if they brought it back later, okay, whatever, yeah. Brought it back later, that would be cool. So yeah, I would have gone and done uh, Sweet Sweet Galaxy, which is the one, is that Hungry Luma. But, whoops. <laughs> whoops. We'll go back there later. Uh, I guess, I guess I'll just end it early here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rosalina saying stuff. They got a grand star. If you didn't notice, there's a grand star there. I didn't notice, honestly. Um. 
Yeah, so now the second dome, which is a world. Um, the first one we were in was the terrace, and now we're in the fountain. Ooh. I do feel like I'm kind of speeding through this game too much. Whatever. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This guy gives you the map if you talk to him, doesn't really matter. Okay, now you can actually hear the comment. Okay, I guess I, you will hear, like, I mean, okay. So I, I've been recording these episodes, like, in a row. So, like, I have the conversations in the other episodes in my mind. Okay, so remember when I said that the music, like, gets more and more orchestrated? So let's listen to it now. It's, like, really quiet with, like... That's probably like a xylophone, maybe something like that being played. That's like a quiet flute, but like once you get more power stars, more grand stars or whatever, it becomes fully orchestrated. And I think that's pretty cool, you know? Oh, shoot, no, don't shoot those, don't shoot those. I meant to... I meant to grandpa or that. Oh, wait, oh, that's what that one? Okay, yeah, I didn't realize L centers your camera. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't really need so yeah, uh, this will be a shorter episode because, I, I don't know, I'll start World 2 next time or whatever. Yeah, so woo, thanks for watching. Woo.